Hello, this is Rick, and this is the Excel 2010 class, and this is week number eight, which is actually the final week. The week number eight will be broken up into a couple of different sections, and the first section is going to be how to create a pivot table, and then we're going to talk about linking worksheets and workbooks in the other section. Anyways, with that said, I'm going to jump right in here and point out a couple quick things. All of these tutorials, including the download materials with the tutorials and the lessons, uh, are posted on my website which is www.10minutetrain.com and then these are some other links like to the YouTube channel and Twitter and so forth and a blog if you're interested and all these tutorials are obviously on YouTube however the download files um, are all on the website so it's a little easier to go to the website to pull all that information so with that said I'm going to jump right in here what I've done is I've created a sheet with um, several hundred users um, so these will be the employee name their job title what region they're a part of and then a listing over here of the products that they sold uh, that they have sold so what I've done is I've created a couple different products um, one called premium advertising um, for 17,000 basic advertising package for 4,000 silver and gold um, and uh, yeah that's it for the for the packages so when you have this much data and this much information sometimes it's easier to look at it to break it down into categories you know how many how many um, how many of these packages were sold in the north or the south or how many um, has have this group of users how many have the senior account executives have sold how much have they sold in premium advertising things of that nature so with that said um, in order to create a pivot table um, this is not required but I'm going to recommend it is take your data um, that on your current table that you have and do insert table and you'll see it will automatically select the, um, the parameters if you're inside the table and if you have headers on the table make sure the box is checked my table has headers I'm going to say OK the whole reason for this is it will make it easier to edit later um, and I'll show you that in a, in a minute uh, so in order to add a pivot table you go back into insert and you choose insert pivot table and you have over here so we're going to choose table one so that's the table we've already created so now if I edit that table and add rows add columns or whatever I'm still going to be selecting from table one whereas if I manually selected here like I could choose a range from a you know a1 through uh, I don't know um, let's see F 300 um, then if I go in and add and modify and change change that selection then I would have to do more manual entries to uh, get it to update so that's the whole reason for um, inserting a table at, as, as the first phase you can also pull data from an external data source like a database or something like that um, I'm gonna go and just choose that for a minute just to show you as an example you can choose um, MSN stock quotes or indexes or whatnot um, anyways but there's no connections built right now uh, so I'm gonna go back and choose that and then down here where do you want to put your pivot table you can choose new worksheet or existing worksheet I think it's a lot cleaner just to do a new worksheet so I'm gonna say OK and you see what happens it pops me onto that new sheet and I have over here on my right hand side I have a pivot table list in all the fields and I have different um, sections down here um, filters lab column labels row labels and values and you have a little template here to build a report, choose fields, um, and it'll build the build the pivot table over here. So with that said, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and you can do this a couple of different ways. For example, I can just check this box and you'll see what will happen. It popped it into row label. So let's assume I want the last name of the, uh, of the uh, employee and let's assume I want their title. Okay, you can see the title went under row labels. If I wanted that under under the column labels I could just either drag it from here and drag it over there or I could drag it from here and drag it up okay so you see what happened here put um, the last name and then it put the different titles over here okay so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and change that back to I'm gonna put it down here and then I wanna put in the region and then let's assume that I want to put in the price okay so now what it did is it told me this employee August 
they're an account executive in the North region, and these are their sales. They've got um, 4,000, 7,000, 14,000, and 17,000. So now what I can do is I can drag this over to um, values, and now I can do um, I can do several things over here. I can see that August has made 11 sales, but I can also go over here and change that to, I can go to value field settings, and I can change it to sum. Then I can click OK, and you see what happens here. It totaled their sales. So now I can see 88,000, 79,000, 129,000. And then I can add other filters up here. Like for example, I can go over here to product and I can put that there and you'll notice if it's under the report filter, I'll get an automatic drop down up here. And I can go over here and say, just show me the premium advertising. And I can quickly um, go through here and see what they've sold and see that this employee bidder has um, a junior account executive, executive has had you know a lot of success in that in um, selling the premiums. And I can go back to here and I can choose all or I can choose basic or whatnot. So I'm going to go ahead and revert it back to all. And the other thing that you can do is you can go over here and I can filter over here. So for example, I can just click here and then on the just go to the right. Let me do that again go to the right and you'll get a little drop down box so I'm in region and I can choose I can hit the select all bo box to unselect them all and then choose for example south and say ok and that's going to list all the sales in the south I can go back here I can change it back to select all and I can do that for any of these I can say just show me the junior account executive so I can quickly see how they're doing Right, so lots of different things you can do with that. Column labels, like I said, you can move this up here. And for example, I could put the title there, or I could put the first name there. So you can see over here, um, I've selected on um, junior account executives. And you see it added that column there, and it told me their total sales. There's one other thing that I wanted to point out here, and that is that when you're working with pivot tables, these do not dynamically update. So, for example, if I go back to my sheet here, and let's assume um, we're looking at, um, let's see, this user, Flickinger. So let's assume that we go over here, and I'm just going to change this to 500,000 for the heck of it. And now I go back to my table, and I go to, let's see what region they were in. They were in the north, so I'm going to go back here to my table and I'm going to say show me the the north and then show me the I'll just select all okay and now I should have Flickinger right there and you see they have 122,000 you see it did not update that information and so that goes the same if you update and add rows or columns to your table so to get that to update um, you can do a couple different things here. Um, the easiest thing to do is just go to the pivot table tools up top here, which should automatically be um, an option once you're in the pivot table. And then go to options and choose refresh, and it will refresh that. And now you can see, uh, where's it at? 605,000. So you can see that updated. Um, you can also go in here, let me click the little pull down and I think you can do Alt F5 if I'm not mistaken so let me just double check that real quick I'll change that back to uh, 17,000 and now we'll go back to our table and you see it's still 605,000 so I'm going to go ahead and do Alt F5 and there you see it updated okay so that's what I want to share with you today thanks for joining and I'll be back soon with another section here about linking workbooks take care